Well, the relevance of doing this work now is is really threefold. There's not only a growing human rights movement through social media uh, and people's ability to actually is express themselves more widely. There's also human rights movements in terms of people's acceptance of sexuality, so there's not so much of an inkling to have to live in a closet. And hence a lot of the church's teachings have been eroded, but predominantly the main issue is that this is the first time that the church's canon law has been challenged in such a way as to make them culpable in their, their lack of reporting crimes on children. This series of portraits is called The Head. Um, it's a collection of faces that have appeared in the media from priests and religious workers who appeared before the Royal Commission in Newcastle charged on sex offences um, against children. Uh, there were, in this area, there were over 30 of them that appeared before the Royal Commission, a lot of whom are already dead. This series is really trying to capture not only the local incident, but also how that power structure runs from local to global. So the thing that interested me in making it is that these are local faces, but they represent a global problem. I work on a series of work and I approach that by adopting whatever techniques or tools I need to use for it. Um, so I'm coming at it from I guess a more of a conceptual background, but for, for this work um, I've gathered the source images from local papers um, and then I, I work off that image as a, as a source. I want the finished work to be recognisable as the perpetrator, but I also want to depart from it just enough so that people can get a sense as to what this character is actually like or what they represent to the victims.